Hey there, Scipio here, and I'm going to let you look over my shoulder as I program the new switches for the Super Chips Trail Dash 2. I just installed an air compressor and two air lockers, so I've got three switches that I'm going to use. One is the air compressor master switch that just charges the system, and then a front locker and a rear locker. So I decided to use the Super Chips uh, Trail Dash 2 as the switch panel for the lockers. Um, number one, uh, it's something that's not easily accessed accidentally and the only time I'm really using lockers is when I'm out off-roading in which case the Trail Dash 2 is a part of that um, environment. So um, anyway, let me catch you up to where we're at uh, all the wiring I did. And I can't really show you but basically the, uh, the Trail Dash 2 comes with um, some adapters for switches. Um, but let me show you that. Just know it's all put, hooked up and plugged. What I'm going to do now is start the vehicle um, after you take a look at the wiring and, uh, and then we'll uh, program these switches. I'll show you how that works. All right, I got my wiring all done. I haven't, I haven't tidied it up yet, but I got it figured out, which was the hard part. So uh, the way I'm going to power the, um, the lockers and the air compressor in general is through my Super Chips Trail Dash 2 using these EAS, these accessory switches. So um, this is really interesting how this works, but this goes uh, through the firewall to the super chips, uh, and then out of here I can control uh, two switches per module, uh, and you can stack three modules to have six switches total. I've got four switches total, although I'm only using three. Now, I'm not using the factory wiring harness from ARB, I'm just using this part that connects uh, to um, you know the essential stuff, the essential one that goes to the battery, but the other one is a big rat's nest that is for the switches. So I'm not using that one at all. That one uh, would have plugged into here. Uh, I cut off the uh, spades off the end of that and then figured out my wiring strategy here. So I did leave it a little bit the same of how they intended, which is you have to turn on the main isolator switch in order to activate the, uh, the two um, locker switches. So I, I left that the same even though I don't know if I really need to do that. I guess the cool thing for me is I can basically leave the two lockers um, on and then just use the master switch to engage both lockers at the same time if I wanted to. Um, and obviously I want to use the air compressor without lockers. Uh, so uh, I just I'm not 100% sure I really care about the utility of that, uh, especially with virtual switches, but it is what it is. So this is gonna be the power for the switches. It's gonna come off of the fuse box and a tap where I already have uh, a tap for my uh, in-dash camera uh, or my dash camera. But that, um, so that's gonna come on when the key's on. That's going to activate the switches. And then switch one, on this will be uh, the main ARB compressor power. I flip that on, compressor will you know spool up to whatever 100 psi and then I could go air tires or whatever. Switch uh, one and two on this are the actual um, lockers so the switch one feeds uh, into switch two as the inbound power and then uh, the two outbounds on this one are locker one and locker two. So I'm getting ready to put all that together. And uh, like I said, I'll probably do another video on uh, the Super Chips component because that's a whole different monster uh, getting this stuff connected. Um, but uh, that's where it is. So common grounds on all these uh, switches. Uh, they're just going to the ground on the ARB. Um, the red is the um, is being fed by turning on switch two or switch one uh, on this first uh, block so the output of that powers the red and also uh, acts as an input red to the two other switches um, and then yellow and let's see here uh, switch one my green which feeds switch one on ARB which is yellow and then switch two here is blue. These are labeled, but they're they're kind of upside down. So switch two uh, is the blue one on this. That's going to feed the green ARB circuit, which is locker number two. 
Uh, then I've got to hook up my solenoids and get my pressure switch in here and then uh, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna start tidying up the wiring. Now that I've explained it to you, I'm gonna tape it up and, and make it tidy. Um, and then uh, hopefully this thing will be going soon. I gotta, like I said, install the solenoids still. Um, I didn't wanna do that right away because those need airlines and I haven't run airlines yet. So once I get all the wiring figured out, then I'll run the airlines next. All right, hopefully you can see that okay. In order to turn on the uh, TD2, we have to turn on the vehicle. And then I will turn off the Jeep, but then leave it in the on position uh, for the programming so we don't have the vehicle running the entire time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the vehicle and then flip it back into the on position. So as you can see here, it's automatically identified four switches. Um, I had to have those all powered up and connected before that worked, otherwise uh, there was nothing there and you just press them and uh, they, it just says, you know, you have to have these accessories. So once you get everything all wired up, basically I think it looks for a detection of that power source that you need for the switches. Um, I happen to know uh, switch one on 958 is my primary arm switch for the compressor. Um, so the two um, EAS accessory uh, boxes have little identification numbers or like serial numbers and the last three digits was 958 on one and 61 on the other and that's how it's identifying which is which. So I have switch one from 61, switch one from 958, switch two from 61, and switch two from 958. That's not the order I want to leave them in but that's how it came up by default. So uh, if I turn this switch on you can hear my compressor uh, kick on because that's the master compressor. Um, but I don't want to leave this with switch one, switch two, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to long press this. And then uh, I get to go in here and rename that switch. One or two words and less than 12 characters each word. So... Um, what I can do here is I'm going to go A, I, R, I just want to see what that looks like. I just called it air. It doesn't have to be fancy. Yeah, it says air. It's not very big. Long press, let go. Um, you can change the button color, things like that. Um, switch information just says it's EAS power switch on off it's the green wire okay well I knew that going into this um, so let me go back to the other switch so uh, I made switch one on the other one the front locker so I'm gonna long press that and then I'm gonna rename switch and I'm gonna do front Um, space C K. Oops, it helps if I can uh, type O C K E R. Let's see what that looks like. Exit menu. All right, front locker. Um, and then switch two is rear locker. Rename switch. Done. Exit menu. All right, front locker, rear locker, air. Now I don't like air because it seems kind of like. Oops. There we go. Rename switch. Let's do master master air. I don't know. The good news is I can change this as many times as I want later until I figure out what I really want. So front locker, master air, rear locker. 
now what I don't well, let me switch to there's nothing on switch to so I'm gonna rename it um, eject just so it has something interesting there all right so now I want to rearrange the order of these switches um, I don't really care about the color actually I do care about the color. so I'm gonna change master air to be green Yeah, I like that better. And then with the lockers being reds. Okay, so now I want to rearrange. So I want master air to be here in the front. So select new switch. Uh, EAS switch one 958 is the green one. Okay, so now master air is there. I want this one to be eject. Oh, I can deactivate that. What does that look like? Oh, nice. I'm just going to leave it deactivated, I guess. Yeah, okay. Not that it matters, but... All right, and then uh, I want this one to be front locker. And that is... Uh... Switch one on 61. And then this one to be rear locker. There we go. Uh, select new switch. Switch two on 61. All right, there we go. Master air, front locker. Rear locker. Wasn't, didn't I make this green? I could have swore I made that green. Maybe it changes if you move it around. All right, master air. Yeah, there we go. All right, master air. Front and rear lockers. Boom, that's it. That's programming the Super Chips Trail Dash 2 with a couple of EAS uh, switch adapters. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.